What was the third thing that he mentioned? He said something about something being haram. I forgot. Yeah. Well, I mean, like free mixing or something. Oh, oh, he's saying that free mixing, free mixing. You're at war. You are at war, and people are going running for food, right? Or people going to a march in a public place in the United States. Where is your brain? Yeah, and that is your take after all that you've seen. That's what you have to talk about. Something's wrong with this person. It's like Suwa Dun, throwing a little bit of Waswasa. Oh my god. <laughs> and now that justifies now. That's why you're losing. Like, okay, you said Yasir al Hadim. Automatically, you're, you think that he's Ilaha yeah. Astaghfirullah. Like, that's, that's basically what they're doing. Let's try to interpret it in the worst way possible. Worst way possible. Let's actually look at the guy who's getting pummeled. The ummah that's getting pummeled. Don't don't think that this doesn't have a negative psychological impact on every Muslim who's watching this. And she's like, our side of things is getting pummeled, right? And now let's look for every possible mistake that they're making and call them out on it rather than directing our attention to the one that's actually abusing helpless people in Philistine. I just want to like put the cherry on the... Cake, whatever. Yeah. You know, people are gonna say, "Oh, you guys are causing fitna now. Why are you talking?" It's no. This is good because this is stress this relief. Is exposing, like the munafiqin, basically. These people need to be called out, especially in times like this. It's not, it's not us being divisive or schismatic. No, no. no this is stress relief because you see something like this and your blood boils. To I gotta talk about it because it's just such an idiotic thing to say. We need to expose these guys.